Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. I'm Diana Olick, live at the National Association of Realtors. Existing home sales in January down 5.1% month to month to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 4.62 million units. That is a miss. The street was looking for 4.7. This is now a 15% correction from the highs of last summer. Sales are also down 5.1% year over year. And before you go blaming all of this on the weather, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors himself says this is only partially due to the weather. He is citing affordability issues. He is citing tight credit. He's even citing, uh, citing uh, flood insurance problems. He points specifically to the West, where sales are down 7.3%. Month to month, we've been talking about this all week on CNBC. Sales in the Northeast are only down 3.1 percent. That's the lowest drop in sales across the nation. Median existing home price, $188,900. That is up 10.7 percent year over year. But remember, this is a mix of home issue in the median sales price. So you're seeing a lot fewer homes selling on the low end, a lot more selling in the middle to high end range. Why is that? because investors are moving out of the market. They are still one-fifth of all home sales. But first-time buyers, first-timers, very important cohort to uh, existing home sales, are now at their lowest level on record since the realtors started tracking this in 2008, just 26% of the market. They should be up around 40%. There is your affordability and your tight credit issue right there. The only bright spot to this January report is the inventory. 1.9 million units now for sale. That's up 7.3% year over year. You're looking at a 4.9 month supply. And the realtors are now saying the worst of the inventory issues may be over. Although if you look region to region, we are still seeing annual drops in a lot of local markets on the inventory. Again, though, they are pointing to tight credit, weaker affordability for this drop. This is the slowest sales pace in 18 months.